Okay, friends, so I've got ourselves a data set. Uh, I found an old data set of a previous class I did this with, and I just combined their data with your data, which is kind of fun. And then um, each of those results that you sent me drops three towns on a map. And the idea is that those are the towns you're more likely from. So what I did was I just said, okay, let's let's find what's called the geographic midpoint of those towns. So if you were to, well, here, let's use this as an example right here. This map shows three towns uh, in and around California. And it's got this geographic midpoint here in the middle with the M on it. So what that really is, I'll, I can kind of show you here with a, with a model. Um, if, you, if you put the three towns at the vertices of a triangle like this, then if you grab each vertex and then let gravity pull it down, and then I'm gonna try to do this to see if this works, and then you draw a line as if gravity were pulling it straight down. Let's see if that made a line. It did, right? Okay, this is gonna be kind of rough and ready. And then repeat that from each vertex. Let, let gravity pull the triangle down and then draw a line. Now you've got an intersection there. Now. That's technically all you need geometrically, but the, ge the as the geometry goes, uh, you can also grab the last point and let it fall. And then when you draw the same line down, it should get pretty close. <laughs> I didn't get pretty close to mine, but geometry, if you actually did it with you know precision and not just me holding it with a, with a piece of paper, those three lines would all intersect in one point and that's the geographic midpoint. So that's what I've got here. It was a little bit painstaking. I had to go online, actually figure out which town was at the geographic midpoint of those three by using the three lat lawns of, because the, 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 the New York Times doesn't tell me which town it is. I had to figure out which town it was. Um, and that was kind of interesting, using the latitude and longitude of each of the three towns and then figuring it out and then having your hometown. If you don't see yours listed in the spreadsheet, it's because you either forgot to tell me what your hometown was or your image didn't come through. So if you don't see yours, don't feel bad. We've got a 25-point data set we can play with here. Um, let's take a look at it now.